Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV Survivor Chat. I'm your host. I'm not really sure what to think about this season. Uh, a guy was out of the game for 28 days. He got voted out. He got blindsided. He gets voted out. He comes back into the game on the 36th day and is able to pull it off the end. Now, sure, he had to build the fire. He did some, he did some things. To, you know, he, he didn't just wasn't just handed to him. Sure, he was given an idol that he could use in the in the you know later on, uh, but. To me, I just don't know if I like the fact that someone got can't because I've been saying for the longest time I'm okay with the concept, but they need to come back into the game sooner than towards the end. I, I they they should have been there at like the when there's eight people, nine people. It just was it was just a I don't I don't know if I'm happy about that. But anyway, what a great game! Uh, some uh, Devons who was the clear favorite to win ends up get, you know not being able to build the fire. He loses to Chris, who eventually obviously wins it. Um, Great. It was it was a good season, not a great season. Um, I still think there's too many idols being played. I still think there's you know at a certain point we got to stop putting the idols out there. I didn't like Devin's. I started rooting against Devin's in this episode, and he was because he was you know emotional and he's saying everyone's against me, but he has been antagonistic. He has been you know he makes fake idols when he didn't really have to and. He did some other things, you know. He's kind of like yeah, rubbing it in their face and stuff. So Devin, you kind of, you kind of lost some. You kind of lost something for me today. I, I, I lost a little bit of respect for you. I still would have voted for you if you got to the finals. I think it was clear, and I think Chris knew that's why he had to. You know, kudos to Chris. He knew that he had to take Devin's out. That he couldn't beat Devin's. Um, but again, is it too? When you go to the Extinction Island, Edge of Extinction, when most of the people on Edge of Extinction voted for. Chris, is that is that too much? Is that is that fair play? Is that what we the fans want to see? I again, I just don't know. I mean, I, I obviously they're going to do it again because someone from Edge of Extinction won, and it seemed to be popular. But I haven't seen the internet. I haven't seen social network. But I'm on the side of saying, hey, I'm okay with it again, but get them back in the game sooner. And I'm also shocked that Julie didn't get a vote. I mean, I didn't I didn't see a vote for Julie. And you know, when you have Gavin, Chris, and and Julie there, I thought she deserved a couple of votes. I'm kind of shocked she didn't get any votes. I was even thinking at one point she could win because I didn't think Gavin would get that many votes. But Gavin, you know, he, he was he did play a good social game, I guess. But I thought Julie did too. But it didn't happen. Um, and again, I'll keep watching the show. I know, I know I've said before. I, 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 but I'll keep watching it. I love Survivor. I love the game. I understand it has to keep evolving and changing to keep it fresh. But again, let's cut back on the idols. And if Edge of Extinction is what we're going to be doing, get them into the game sooner. I, again, I, I don't. I think that's going to be the major major sticking point. Was he out of the game too long? He didn't have to go to tribal count. The stress of tribal councils. He didn't have to go winning challenges or having his team win challenges. Are you sure it was not? It was no picnic on Edge of Extinction. But again, you're out of the game, and being out of the game, you can your mind at least can can you know you don't have to worry. Oh, is that person stabbed me in the back? I thought Gavin made a good case for that. Um, but again, I guess we'll see what happens later on. The you know going down the future. Uh, you know, congrats to Chris. You won. You got back in the game and you won. And again, I, I thought it was a, a gutsy move with the fire challenge. But I think he knew that he he could do a better fight. He was he's just so zen and so peaceful. You know, whereas you could see where Devins was getting stressed out. He was he, he couldn't get this fire started. And he was you know. And I think Reem, even in when I forgot to mention Reem, I think she did told Jeff to f off. I I could be wrong. They blurted it out, but I I think I think that's what she said. But anyway, good season. We'll be back next season for season thirty nine. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, we have other things. Check out what else we're doing here. We have our crazy life going on. Uh, we talk about grandparenting and parenting. Uh, we have we're doing Game of Thrones right now. The last uh, we're doing the finale episode and this last episode. Uh, that some people liked and didn't like. Um, we're doing. We have a lot of things going on. Crazy Hank TV reviews of movies, TV shows, and all that different stuff. So if you like it, like like us, share us, and subscribe subscribe to us. <laughs> but we'll be back. And thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with us. And that's all I got. I'm out. Thanks. Bye.